All right, so this is to turn on the gas. There's five steps. It's probably best to do them in order because otherwise they may not work. The first thing is to turn on and off the gas. Um, to, this is step one. They're actually all labeled around the room. It's really convenient. To turn this on, there's, you just spin it and it'll pop out. It's a little spring loaded and pop out. In any emergency, there's a fire. We all need to get outside. The first thing you do is you come and you press this button and it'll kill the gas to the entire room so everyone will be safe. So yeah, we're gonna turn that on like so. And then we're gonna be going over here. This is step two. It's a little, um, it's called gas shut off number two. It's over here. You turn this on, you go all the way down. It's kind of like a valve if you think. Um, gas is gonna be flowing which way the valve is pointing. So if the valve is out to the side, the gas is going to be flowing out the line. If you go down, straight down, the gas has to go all the way down. Um, note to self, um, this switch is kind of sticky, it'll fall. That's not on, you have to make sure it's pointed all the way down. The next switch we have is an electronic switch. Um, to open, to close, it's labeled really simply. The purpose of this is if there's ever a power outage or something happens where the power fails to the room, this will automatically shut off. It'll actually, it'll just shut off because it's, um, electronically powered as also as pressure powered so if pressure gets lost it'll also shut off so yeah okay step four same thing this is to be pointed all the way down now gas will be flowing to all six torches on the table um, this is oxygen it's always regulated at 20 psi just note to self I'll, or me or Moses or someone of higher authority that won't blow themselves up or anyone else will mess with the regulator so don't ever mess with this switch um, to turn the get, uh, turn oxygen on, you take this handle and you go about one turn, just enough to hear the gas flow. If you go a bunch and a bunch and a bunch, and there's a time bomb over there, and you have 30 seconds and you're over your screen forever, you're gonna turn, to turn it off. It's not gonna work. So one twist, so boom, you can turn it off, and it's off right away, and you're good. So one twist this way. All right, so we're gonna come over here. <laughs> Light up now. Yeah, yeah, to turn the torches on, the gas on the torches is the same. Um, red is gas, green is oxygen. We always turn red on first. We go about about half a turn, a little bit more. We can use a sparker, or sometimes there's a lighter around. Is that a light? Thanks. I prefer to use a lighter. So yeah. You don't actually need to wear the glasses till you've actually put glass in the flame. For this one, you go and then you go very slowly with this guy, with the green, the oxygen, till you get a, a little, um, a little cone in the center. Um, I don't know if you could see it, but there is a little cone right there in the center. You want it about maybe as big as a pinky thumbnail, really, really small. To turn the torch off, it's always green, then red. So green, then red, and that's how to turn it off. This torch is pretty much the same. You do exactly the same thing. Um, this is the oxygen and this is the gas. We go about half a turn. The knobs are a little different. Okay, you want the flame about yay long, and then we can add we can add the gas in till it's about the same, about big as pinky thumbnail in there. So yeah, and that's about it. To turn it off, it's always green, then red. All right, thanks for watching.